<clears throat> okay, so this is another video. I kind of want to do a little bit more focused, but a shorter video. Um, I did a lot. I did a video actually just before this video about uh, the evolution of my understanding of nutrition, right, and how it fits in with fitness and body transformations and you know, energy balance of the body and all that stuff. But I kind of wanted. I touched on a subject in there about uh, the Big Mac diet, right, and all these guys going around. Oh, claiming that oh yeah I can lose weight eating uh, French fries right or whatever and I'll tell you right now absolutely true 100% true you can lose weight eating juju beads, beans you can lose weight eating gummy bears you can lose weight eating poutine you can lose weight eating fucking handfuls of scoops of butter probably the question is if you do that a are you going to be healthy B, are you going to have energy? And C, are you getting, you know, basically, are you getting the proper nutrients in your body, right? And how are you going to feel, right? Like, so for me, fitness and health is all about health, right? So the, the health is always thrown in there, right? So like bodybuilding, fitness, to me, go one in one with health, right? And then go with nutrition, right? So if you're going to lose weight, you can do it the healthy way, right? So the reason why the Big Mac diet will work is simply, um, if you look at the calorie uh, amounts of a Big Mac, I'll try to put it on the screen. A Big Mac has 800 somewhat calories, right? I'm just kind of doing this off the top of my head. <clears throat> 800, 900 calories, d double Big Mac, whatever. Just a standard Big Mac. The standard adult male, 5'10", for example, 200 pounds-ish, who has an office job, will, basically doesn't do a lot of physical activity, right? Will burn roughly around 2,000 calories a day. That's her total daily energy expenditure, right? Now, I've touched on this in the past. There's BMR and TDEE, right? BMR is your basal metabolic rate, TDE is your, TDE is your total daily energy expenditure, right? So someone in that scenario would only burn about 2,000 calories a day, right? So say you eat a Big Mac for lunch, a Big Mac uh, for breakfast, okay? And then you have like a bowl of cereal for supper, right? No, most people can say, oh, you're eating, oh my God, you're eating a Big Mac. There's no way you're going to lose weight. But you'd be surprised because, well, if you're if you're new to this fitness and nutrition stuff, you'll be surprised because you look at a Big Mac as being an evil, right? You look at the food as being evil. You you may look at a certain type of food as being bad food. All comes down to energy, guys, okay? There's, there's a shitload of fat in that stuff. I kid you not, but fat doesn't make you fat. Calories, overeating calories makes you fat, right? So a Big Mac may have 800 calories and a gazillion uh, grams of fat, mostly fat probably, simple sh sugars. Barring those aside, it doesn't matter if it's all fat or it's all simple sugars. It still only has 800 calories, right? So a guy eating two of those in a bowl of cereal, which they say a bowl of cereal is 200 calories, he's going to be eating 800 for his breakfast for the Big Mac if, God forbid, McDonald's ever starts serving all day uh, Big Macs. It's pretty awesome. But anyways... 800 for breakfast, 800 for supper, that's 1,600 in a bowl of cereal before bed, 800, that's 1,800 calories. Booyah, he just created a 200 calorie deficit. Guess what? He will lose weight. He won't lose a shitload of weight, but he will slowly lose weight. So that 200 per day, so he does that seven, weeks, seven days a week, seven times 200 is uh, 1,400 calories, right? So he'll burn, you know, say a pound of fat, 3,500 calories, which it is. You'll burn almost two pounds, no, almost a pound of fat a week. So maybe just like 0.75 of a pound a week, right? Just from doing that, right? So he's essentially accomplished a task which seems impossible. He's eaten crappy fast food and he's lost weight. Why? Because it doesn't matter what you guys are eating. It doesn't matter what people are eating. A Big Mac isn't any more evil or isn't any more good than, than an apple is or a slice of turkey bacon or, or, or chicken breast. It is simply the energy content of that food which caused the weight gain or the weight loss. There's nothing magical about it. So yes, he's lost weight eating Big Macs. You can lose weight eating chicken fingers, right? The problem with that is you may be starving. Why do I say that? Because, you know, these foods are not volumizing. When I say volumizing, I mean they do not keep you full for very long. Your body just, your body breaks it down really fast and it's just a, it's just a rush of energy to your, your, to your veins, which your body will burn off, right? But it's just that your body burns it fast, right? So it doesn't stick around too long. And then you're, you're hungry, right? You gotta have fries. You gotta have a second burger or that. And then a couple hours later, you gotta have some ice cream or whatever. You know, this is how normal people eat, right? 
So it doesn't keep you full, right? Whereas if you get a big piece of chicken breast, big plate of vegetables and some complex carbs with the fiber, that's gonna keep you full for longer, right? And it's gonna slowly release that energy in your bloodstream so it doesn't spike insulin levels, right? So that's why. So that's that's why it's not okay. That's why you can lose weight eating shit, essentially, but why you shouldn't, right? In a nutshell. So, you know, it doesn't matter. You eat tacos, you can eat pizza, whatever, but I've touched, I trust you, man. I will be starving. I, what, do you, what am I gonna eat? Three slices of pizza a day? Like, I'm a fucking grown ass man. I'm not gonna eat three slices of pizza a day. And that's gonna satisfy me. That's gonna hold me. Oh, oh, there's a big fucking pizza there. I'm gonna have one slice and then a couple carrot sticks, and then you're already at 500 calories. I'm like, what? I'd rather eat a big chicken salad, you know, which I've made at home and has vegetables because I, I feel full, I feel satiated, I feel satisfied now, right? And, my, and I fuel my body. So, you know, all this junk food is, 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 is too high in calories, right? But you can lose fat eating it. So, if, you know, if you want to do that, it's all the power to you. I don't recommend it, but that's the reason why the Big Mac diet can work. So, if you like this video, please subscribe and like below. Um, visit my at alphamatinfitness.com and uh, Give me a shout over there if you agree with this video if you don't agree with this you got a story if you got something to share absolutely put it in the comments below i'll try my best to reply to it all right guys uh stay stay focused stay fit and don't go on a big mac diet unless maybe it's like a cheat day or something in which case eat four of them anyways signing off see you later